Hey, what's up guys? So today we're gonna to be talking about my favorite hacking distros or my favorite pen testing distros for 2023. These are ones that I use. You probably heard of some, maybe you haven't. So if you're tuning in to learn about new hacking distributions, stay tuned and watch till the end. If you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe and share. And if you're returning, let's have some fun. So we'll go down the list that I have in my VMware workstation. I am running these in my own environment in VMware. So the first one here is probably everyone knows this one is Kali Linux. And I'm not gonna go in the deep, deep ends of what Kali is or what we're gonna do with Kali or whatever, but we're just gonna go over a, a brief little overview. So obviously I can open up my terminal real quick and let's just go ahead and cat out the OS release and I'm running Kali version 2021.2 in my VMware. I have 2022.4 in my uh, in my virtual box, but I wanna do everything in VMware just because all of my hacking distros for this video is in VMware. So yeah, this is Kali. Obviously everyone knows the beauty of Kali. It's, it's super easy to use. All the tools are built in. It's very, very straightforward. You can download it right from Kali.org. And if you're not familiar with that, let's go ahead and go out there. And I can put all the links to the description. Um, so I just go to Google and hopefully I have internet on this box. Yep. So Kali download. And then you can just go to Kali.org, like I said. And then in here, you can go ahead and just download whatever you want. A virtual machine. That's what I always recommend because it's already built. And then you can just download VirtualBox or VMware or whatever distro that you're using or whatever platform of virtualization that you're using. All right, so this is operating system number one. All right, so let me go ahead and just shut this down because I have multiple here. So let me just go ahead and shut this bad boy down. Let me just open up a terminal and just power it off it's so much quicker. Okay. All right, so we're gonna power that one off and then we're gonna go to the next one. I'll go to Parrot, right? So Parrot OS, let's just boot this guy up. Parrot OS is very famous too. Uh, do, 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 do. That's fine, do you wanna try? No. I'm running my VMs on a different hard drive. It's a little uh, external drive. But Parrot OS, I enjoy Parrot. You know, I know a lot of people like Parrot. I liked Parrot a lot when I was doing a lot of Wi-Fi pen testing, just because of the tools and everything that was built in. And also they have a lot of an, like anonymous tools, like. Tor browser, you can uh, use uh, different kind of ways to anonymize yourself. I'll show you a few uh, once, once this boots up. All right, so uh, let me go to InfoSec Pat. I think my password is my fancy password, I hope. Okay. I just created a couple of users on here because I was showing a friend. Okay, is it this? Let me see. This, this VM has been acting really strange. But anyhow, we're in Parrot. So same kind of, you know, you can see that we're running Parrot and you can just do cat Etsy OS release. And you can see here that we're running Parrot, Parrot OS, okay? And you can see that I just booted this up. So there's a few things I like about Parrot. You know, if you go into privacy, you can go to a non-surf. That was a tool that I couldn't remember for a second. And you can just use a non-surf, you can start it. And then what you can also do is check the proxy chains that you're going through. It's really cool. Um, you can do cryptography, and then you can do you know all the, the pen testing stuff that you can do with Kali Linux. And most use tools, Aircrack NG, Armageddon, Amatize, BetterCap, you know, Burp Suite. All of these are pretty much the the daily users, right? You can do information gathering, doing some like DNS, DNS recon, uh, DNS enumeration, you know, all these kinds of tools, right? Post exploitation, maintaining access. So you get the gist, you can do digital forensics. So you get the gist. So this is my second favorite, you know, and I really enjoy this. 
like I said, I don't want to make this a video about each operating system. I'm just going to show you guys what operating systems that I think that you should get to learn. So that's number two. Let's go ahead and just power this bad boy off and then we'll go on to the next. Okay, let's power that off. And then my third, I would say is Black Boon 2. I really like Black Boon 2. We'll start this bad boy up. And this operating system is super cool. Like I just heard of this probably a month and a half ago, to be honest. And once I heard about it, I was like, oh, let me tinker with it. Let me boot it up. Let me, you know, set it up. And I'm really digging this operating system. So if you guys want to check this out, this is definitely one to put on your, you know, put in your arsenal. And I'll show you once it boots up. It's super, super cool. Um, obviously, this is running off an external drive. So be patient, folks. Okay, so let me log in with my fancy, fancy password. So once this logs in, we'll see the... Uh, and I associated by six gigs to this machine. So you can see like Tor comes pre-built, but let's just go right to the meat and potatoes. So if you click on show applications, you can see, you know, it's very clean, right? And it's very fast, it's very snappy. So you go to cracking, you know, obviously you can get your cracking tools and, and all that stuff. Um, crypto, I don't really touch anything with crypto, so I don't, I don't mess with that. Exploitation, you know, Websploit, uh, you know, Burp Suite, you're probably familiar with these tools. And, um, you know, for VLAN hopping, you can use uh, Surian, Sur Surian, however you say that, your Surian. I don't know how you say it, whatever. Router exploit, if you want to exploit routers, doing some forensics. So it's very, very clean. Um, I really like this. I really like it. And it's, you know, you, we can open up a terminal and same kind of thing. Let's, uh, Let's go cat Etsy OS release. And we can see that it's running Ubuntu. Black Ubuntu is the pretty name. And it's running 22.04.1 LTS. And it's a it's a Debian-based um, Debian based operating system. Obviously, it's Ubuntu. So that's my third. So hopefully you guys can check this out, play around with it. So let's go ahead and power this off. Okay, and let's go to the fourth one. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'll say number four is probably, I would say Black Arc. Let's go ahead and log into Black Arc. Okay, let's see if I remember my password. I don't think, I think I have to probably um, Google it really quick. So I think it's like, I don't think I ever changed it. So let me just actually Google it really quick while that's booting up. I'm, I like to keep it honest. Uh, let me... Just go ahead. I think it's like, let's see. Black arc default. All right. So I think it's like, okay. Admin, let me see. Do, 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 do. Root. And then it's been a it's been a hot minute. So I don't think I changed my password on here. Let me just see if it's password. I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, I think it's maybe Tor. Is that it? Root Tor? No. Root uh, password? Oh, man. This is what, um, so let, let's Google this together. Uh, I guess I'm not able to bring that over, but we'll find it. Give me one second. Oh, I put Black Boom too, that's why. All right, so it's, all right, here we go. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, so it's black arc, black arc. So that's, that's pretty, uh, All right, and then password is the same. No. Was it root? Black arc? Yeah, so root black arc. All right, so you can see it's been probably a few weeks that I played around with this. So this is it. So you can right click, click on the terminal, you know, 
do your little I if config, you know, hang out to Google and all that stuff. Like, so you can look at the different tools. Obviously, there's a boatload of stuff in here. So you can just, you know, tick around with this. You can see the menu, config, um, restart, reload config, browsers. You know, you can say, okay, I want to go to Firefox, make sure, you know, make sure internet's working. And let's just go out to Google. Make sure we're good. We are good. We are out to the internet, so I can X out of here. So yeah, this is pretty much Black Arc. You know, there's so many menus here. Um, for example, scanners, you can see the different scanners, sniffers, social, spoof. So a lot of people like this operating system. It's a definitely a good one to have in your arsenal. It's not my go-to on my daily. I'd rather Kali Linux or even Black Ubuntu, but it's definitely a good one to uh, have in your arsenal. So that's number four, I believe, right? So let's just turn this off. And I should make a note of those username and password. And the last one I have here is Predator. Predator seems like a good operating system to tinker with, to learn, and it's definitely a good one to have in your arsenal for sure. So definitely tinker around with this one. This one is good. We'll wait for that thing to boot up. So if you have any questions about any of these operating systems, please leave me a comment in the description below. I'll try to help you out as best as I can. Remember, I haven't really dove really deep into each operating system. So if there's something that's not working, please try to Google it. Because if I don't know the answer, I'm going to go ahead and Google it. Just like my default password for Blackhawk, right? Like I don't use Blackhawk every day and I had to do a quick Google search. So that goes to show you, we don't all know it all. And if we are stuck, let's go ahead and use the resources that are out there for us, right? Google is a beautiful tool. So especially if you wanna be in this field as an ethical hacker or as a pen tester or whatever you wanna do in security, right? Learning how to Google, even in IT, not even, not even just security, right? Like when I was a network engineer doing systems, like if I were to get a blue screen or I would get an error or, you know, like I need to connect to PowerShell through Office 365 and I forget the commands, you know, Google and learning how to research is definitely a skill in itself. So just remember that. And this is why I left this one for last because this one always takes forever to boot. I don't know why. Um, Predator, at least on mine, and it's it's going through a little you know USB drive, so maybe that's the case. But all the other ones boot up super quick, as you can see. So we'll give this a moment. While that takes a moment, I'll get my my green tea. And um, and yeah, so something that's coming up while this is still booting. You know, if you guys are watching the live streams, kudos. I really appreciate you hanging out, asking questions and so on. I wanna do at least one, sometimes two a week if that permits me, but at least one a week with different guests, learning about their journey and just give their insight about how to get into IT and how to get into security and different parts of the information technology field. And what I'm also working on that I announced yesterday is a cybersecurity analyst course. So learning how to run a SIM tool, understanding how to ingest logs and, and just learn the basics of being a SOC analyst level one or something like that. So yeah, so more to come on that, so stay tuned. So let's go ahead and log in. This is the system that I would recommend and that I have, there's, there's other ones out there you can probably mess around with, but these are the ones that I've been tinkering with and um, yeah. So this is Predator. I really like Predator. Um, it does its it does its thing, right? To anonymize yourself, it's really good. Like I test, so if we go to um, Predator menu, like I said, this one's a little slower. And if we go to About Predator, we can see, you know, about this. Uh, I don't wanna do that. You could do About My PC and put my fancy password. And we can see that, you know, it, it takes a second, but you get the gist, right? So we can see the top tools. 
and, you know, make sure you can go out to the internet. And, you know, there's so many tools, right? There's so many tools. Defensive mode, you can anonymize yourself, a non-surf that has, you know, so you can um, use different ways to hide behind an IP just in case you're doing an assessment and you want to anonymize yourself so it doesn't look like it's coming from you. And different security modes, privacy modes. You know, you see you have privacy mode, Tor browser, um, different, just different things, right? Obviously, you can tinker around with these and play around with them. I'm not going to go through the tools, but then you have offensive mode, which is you have uh, OSINT, excuse me, OSINT, search tools, the web framework. We have a massive amount of tools. Like I didn't, I have played around with a few in here. And it's, it's awesome. Remote access to so any desk. This is like to connect to a machine. Um, your SSH, VNC, all this good stuff. Okay. You have different forensics tools, car hacking. This is a cool application. You know, definitely tinker around with these. And let me know your favorite tool in each operating system, right? Like if you felt like, man, this is a cool tool, Pat. You should definitely check it out. I'll check it out, right? Because everyone has their own path and everyone has their own tools that they use, right? Like all the tools I use on a daily may not be the same as you and vice versa. So sharing is caring and definitely share the tools that you enjoy. And that's pretty much gonna conclude the video, right? We went through Kali, Parrot, Black Ark, Black Buntu, and Predator. So hopefully you guys find this video informative. If there's any questions that you may have, please leave it in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, and share. And until next time, have an awesome day and see you soon, folks.